Hello, third grade readers. Welcome to our lesson on comparisons today. So for our lesson, I have my Laughs Ready book on page 310. I have a highlighter and my pencil. We're going to look through comparisons or comparing and contrasting and those signal words to help us as we go forward. So what we're talking about still is the same thing we've been working on, that connections in the writing. How are paragraphs and sentences connected? What is the author trying to do? And one of the ways is by making what we call a comparison. Comparing means how two or more things are alike or different. So we compare and contrast. There are signal words like, as, also, both, however, but, different and unlike, which can help us as readers to know the difference. So like, as, also, and both help me to show how things are alike or similar. However, but, different and unlike help me see how they are different. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to read this little paragraph about toothbrushes. We're going to look for some signal words and then talk about why are we comparing those. So our paragraph says, like people today, ancient peoples wanted to keep their teeth clean. They also used toothbrushes. However, their brushes were very different. Our toothbrushes are plastic with nylon bristles. But the first toothbrushes were made of twigs with crushed ends. So as I'm looking here, I see some of those words that they showed up here. I see that word, however, which is going to tell me a different way. I see that word, but, which is also going to tell me the same. I see the word, like. So all of these are words that are going to be a indicator of comparing and contrasting. Like people today, this means that they are the same. However, tells me that they are different, but tells me that it is also different. So it's telling me one way they're the same and two ways they are different. So let's go ahead and fill in our chart and talk a little bit more about that. The first thing we have here is one of our sentences. It says, like people today, ancient peoples wanted to keep their teeth clean. And I noticed that when I'm looking here, the signal word was like, which we already circled in our reading. Well, what is the purpose of this connection? It was to show how Ancient people are like or are similar to people today. So what was the point of that comparison? Showing how we are the same. The next sentence says they also use toothbrushes However, their brushes were very different. First, I see that word also. They also used, which means the same. And then here's that word, however, which tells me different. So our signal words this time are also and however. Why is this here? Well, first, it tells how they both used toothbrushes, how they were the same. That is what that first part is. Then it tells how brushes were different. So these two sentences are giving both a comparison and a contrast because it's telling me the same and different. Yes, we both are using the toothbrushes, but they definitely were different kinds of toothbrushes. Our last 
sentences from the text say, Our toothbrushes are plastic with nylon bris bristles, but the first toothbrushes were made of twigs and crushed ends. And I see that signal word, but, which is telling me a co contrast, how they were different. So the purpose of this is to tell how the brushes, how the brushes are different. Ours is plastic and nylon. Theirs were twigs and crushed ends. Not sure about you, but I don't really want to use twigs and crushed ends to brush my teeth. All right, so what we do when we read is we look for these signal words and then think about, well, what is it there for? What is it showing us or what is it representing? Is it giving us information like and also that tells me how it's the same? Or is it telling me words like however and but that tell me it's different? All right, hopefully you have this down. We're going to keep working on comparisons this week.